<laughs> we are here with Joel Hodgson, the creator of Mystery Science Theater 3000 and Cinematic Titanic. Thank you for joining us. Sure, I'm happy to be here. It's great to be in Seattle. Yeah, we're so happy to have you. I still am just sighing. There's a can of cashews back there, so I'm just... Delicious. I can't blame eating. you. Now I'm we're eating them, and I shouldn't be, but I had to take a drink, too. Excuse me. I wasn't ready for this. Uh, oh, no problem. Um, while you're drinking, we've been talking to everyone how they got involved with this. Obviously, that does not necessarily apply to you. How did you come up with these ideas, and how did you get go about getting hmm. them in action? Well, a lot of it... Um, was it was just we were just fortunate it all worked out like um, my only idea with um, Mystery Science Theater was you know having watch a movie with companions you know have people watch with the movie with you and so I didn't when when we started I had no idea that it would be like wall to wall mm -hmm. riffs you know 600 riffs or 700 <laughs> riffs a show and that came from, you know, Trace and Josh and I being on camera. Like, we did the KTMA shows. We did, like, 22 shows where we really didn't, uh, you know, write anything mm -hmm. down. We just really mm -hmm. improvised. And, um, and that's when we kind of, kind of figured it out that it was just better when we were filling the empty space. And, you know, <laughs> we kind of felt our way through it. So, um... um it was really at the end of KTMA when we were cutting together a cell tape for um, Comedy Channel uh, that became Comedy Central. Um, and that's when I kind of saw, like, oh, that's what it looks like when it's just jokes. Yeah. And so I knew that if we sold it, we actually had a talk about this, and I just said, we have to start writing it. <laughs> and on top of that, my friends were going to see it. You know, it was going to be national. Mm. So that was kind of when we decided to sit down and start looking at it, you know, kind of beat by beat and figure it out. But that was really the group together kind mm -hmm. of doing that. I kind of had kind of the idea for the playground, what it would look like mm -hmm. and it would be. And there were, it was really everybody who kind of brought all their sensibilities together. And they also can hear me, <laughs> so I want to include them. <laughs> And uh, how did you come up with the idea for Cinematic Titanic so many years after Mystery Science Theater had ended? Um, it was really just simple. I just felt like getting back into it and wanting to riff on movies again. Mm -hmm. And so doing it, uh, doing Cinematic Titanic was just the most direct, easy way to do that. Um, and we did our first show in San Francisco. Actually, the, the you know, this is probably over two years ago, but we did our first studio shoot in LA and then we went that same weekend we went up to San Francisco and did our first live show right excuse me so we um so we um we kind of started doing live stuff and studio stuff at the exact mm. same time that was always kind of part of it and doing it lives become like to us like the state of the art it's just what the most fun and and uh it's we love it we love like getting to be together we get to get, do like go to one city a month and do a show and um it's fun so we're really in lo really uh grateful and happy to get to do it um so what can we expect from the future any upcoming projects besides cinematic titanic no that's it that's kind of like what our full-time thing now we just do that and um when we're not doing the you know doing shows we're writing them or else all the other things that go with it either you know um you know putting together the dvd or finding the movies or writing them and all the different things that go along with that and uh, it seems like a lot of the movies you riff on are from the 70s or earlier are you a fan of modern bad movies <laughs> Um, sure, but but the way the way we do it is we have to license them. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like new movies are very expensive, and also bad movies. We kind you kind of have to find movies um, where they're not really self conscious because now they make bad movies and they kind of have the uh, the like irony the built idea. into it. <laughs> yeah, like we know this is a crap movie, so we're gonna make fun of ourselves. So. Um, so that's kind of the way the the way it works, but we're up for anything. Yeah, we like uh, working on all kinds of movies, and they'll always make bad movies, I feel. <laughs> um, well, thank you so much for giving us this time. We really appreciate it. Oh, sure, it. And yeah. Uh, again, 
Uh, if people are interested in Cinematic Titanic, where can they find information, dates, all that Yeah, stuff? Um, we've got a, a Facebook page, and we also have a website, cinematictitanic.com. We post all our live shows there, and also whenever there's a new DVD. I think we have a new DVD coming out in the next few weeks, which is um, Danger on Tiki Island. And you said roughly about once a month you travel to do a show yep. live. Usually we do, well, sometimes we do a couple of dates, you know, when we go out. Mm -hmm. We'll do two cities or, um, yeah, but usually once a month it's like. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Definitely check them out if they come to a city near you. It's yep. great stuff. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yep.